Well, the next game to face the music on X Play is Monster Madness Battle for Suburbia for the 360. What does Suburbia even have that's worth fighting for? I see let the monsters have it. Well, in the way that our military is run these days, could we even invade and hold a non monster infected Suburbia? Doubtful. Let's see who wins monsters or suburbs. It started like every other cliched night with whining. Not today. Now's really not a good time. Lots of whining. Ah! I'm going nuts! You see them as you want to see them, in the simplest of terms. A brain, a goth, a slacker, a cheerleader. And you know what? It doesn't matter. They're all just another course on another undead smorgasbord. What the? Hmm? Whoa. Monster Madness materializes on your machine for all the mauling mayhem, malicious mastication, and malevolent mobs of blah, blah, blah. Look, kids, I can only take this alliteration so far. In this newest rendition of a run-and-gun genre, Monster Madness for the Xbox paints the town in zombie blood and imitation B-movie butter popcorn. As the story goes, you'll rock through this sleepy suburb, dispatching the dead with a wide variety of weapons at your proverbial disposal. Oh, and the monsters. From the just plain silly to the graphically stereotypical... No, I mean really stereotypical. Wow, you're so beautiful, woman. To the... What is this, the handicap? Great, now I'm unloading a clip into a special Olympian. Sandwiched between the layers of comic exposition... Eat lead, zombie scum! We're not zombies! ...lies mostly the same flaming cat lady action you encountered three levels ago. <laughs> Item collecting adds little to the same fire and forgettable gameplay. From explosions to eviscerations, the game looks sharp, but there's only so many times you can kick around the same giant zombie corpse. <clears throat> Thanks. On occasion, the game tries to break up the monotony with vehicles only to go down in flames. I mean, sure, blowing up zombie pirates is something different, but it hardly takes away from the tragedy that was Pirates of the Caribbean 2. Unfortunately, the characters are about as lackluster as a sixth season of American Idol. From nerd to goth, they all play the same way, except for the cheerleader. She's just annoying. Yay! I Shoes. If you love them so much, why don't you marry them and have yourself a little Bouncy Shoes honeymoon in a Bouncy Shoes villa overlooking Lake Bouncy Shoes. And when you go to the Bouncy Shoes family reunion, Bouncy Shoes' father will ostracize you for never being Bouncy Shoes enough. <sighs> wow, that was gratuitous. The game really shines when up to three other friends come to unload their problems into the ventral side of an oncoming attacker and exit in a beautiful splatter across the dorsal side and along the nice furniture. Monster Madness plays homage to the creature slayers of years gone by. Ah, zombies have eaten my neighbors! I will make them pay! It provides little more than your standard fare. That's why we're giving this Xbox Monster Mash three kicks to the dead out of five. <laughs>